there guys and gals this is Barbie Figaro with rise marketing and design.com and thank you so much for watching my video so if you're watching this video this is part three of a three-day series on how to get a membership site going with the builder all tools in the first video I shared with you a little bit more advanced strategy in the second video I shared with you how to cherry pick your pages to create a custom membership site and then in this video I'm going to share with you a very simple solution for a membership site that you can use for like free training if you have a network marketing team you can upload content uh, using this solution uh, It's a very simple simple solution very low tech you don't need a lot of technical experience in order to get your content uploaded into this builder all solution so if you want to know what that is then keep on watching <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching my video again. This is Barbie Figueroa with rise marketing and design.com Please take just one moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly truly appreciate that All right guys and gals. Well, let's go ahead and log into my builder all back office really quickly So I can share with you in my opinion the most simplest solution for someone just getting off the ground uh, into creating membership sites. Uh, this is more like a very beginner level. Um, I think it's very simple to use. As a matter of fact, my training inside of Builderall is actually housed on this particular app inside of Builderall, and that is the e-learning app. So let me go ahead and show that to you right now. So once you log into the Builderall back office, you will go right over here to the Builderall business community. So I can show you an example of what this looks like. So if you go over here to the Builderall business community, you'll see that we have trainings from different leaders uh, that have contributed training to the community. So what I want to do is I want to go and uh, find uh, my training over here in the Builderall community and I'll scroll down over here and you'll see that these are kind of this is kind of like a little you know like a landing page where you can access the courses and you can do this as well all you could all you have to do is build a little uh, landing page and I'll show you an example right here in the corner um, of a little just a, a basic landing page that I built uh, it's you know really simple and all you have to do is click on the buttons and that will allow your um, subscribers or your students to access whatever course you want them to go to okay so just like here you see that I, you have you know I have my two courses here here's my friend was and uh, you can access our courses through this landing page um, you could do the same thing for you okay so let me go ahead and if I go to the course right here you'll see that my course is actually open I don't have a password on it because it's intended for the builder all business community so if I go to the go to course you'll see that you can come here and check out my course right so you can go to video lesson number one okay and I can uh, put up you know my my trainings right here and uh, people have the ability to also ask me questions which is really cool and right here you can even have your PDFs so if you have some sort of a training like I said for your network marketing team or if you have um, just something simple or a simple course that you want to sell if you are just getting started I think this is the perfect solution because it does not require a lot of uh, technical skills so uh, if you want you can go ahead and put a password protection on this and then it'll ask you to register and then someone would come here and they would register with their name email and create a password they would register for it and then they would go ahead and uh, access your course content uh, but like I said this particular course is open so no one has to come here and register if you lock it like let's say for example you sell you know a $27 product or a $47 product you would reroute them and you would reroute them to the registration button right here okay and that way they would have to register for the course after they pay so that's an idea for you right there so let me just kind of take you on a quick little tour on how to uh, modify the app and what kind of customizations you can do with this so here we are back again and what you would do is you would go inside the app section and you would scroll down to e-learning 
Now, I already have some courses here and I've got some students, okay? I'm the only teacher at this point, but let's go ahead and create a course. So I wanna go ahead and create a course and you can select categories for your courses, but I've already done a, uh, let's actually, let's go through that. Let's go ahead and add a category and I'll just put here attraction marketing. So I'm gonna go ahead and then select the category. So here we are and then select the teacher. That would be me and we would create the course. Okay, oh, and enter the name of the course. Attraction Marketing for Beginners. Okay, and I find this so much easier because you don't have to mess with the actual layout of the membership course. All you're doing is just uploading your data. That is it. Okay, so Attraction Marketing for Beginners. Now, here is where I would go ahead and start editing the course. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit it. So now when you go to the edit menu, you're gonna get all kinds of different you know, uh, links that you're gonna be able to click on. And all you do is go through each and every one of these, okay? So I already have my course name. Now here is where you would select if it is an open course that anybody can access or if it requires a password. So if you want this to be an open course that people don't have to register for, you're going to have to click the checkbox, okay? If you want people to have to register, which is what you want, if they've paid for the course, you wanna go ahead and you wanna leave this blank, okay? So that once they come to your course landing page, they have to register after payment, all right? So right over here, you can put your uh, information, copyright uh, Barbie Figueroa. And if you know how many hours, you can put how many hours the course is, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna go ahead and click on save and go to the next thing, okay? So now I'm just gonna say, okay, let's say, obviously you would have some sort of a outline that you're working with. Um, so over here you would put in the modules. So let's just say module one, introduction. Okay, so let's create this module, all right? And so now under this module, you can click edit, and go ahead and put in your description. Description for your module, okay? So now you're gonna have your lesson. So the modules are like the main chapters and then the lessons are going to be the actual coursework inside the chapters. So you might have, let's say, module two, tech stuff, right? Let's just say that. Okay, and then you would come here, and then you would put a more elaborate description, okay? All right, so I just got you going with those first two modules. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go to lessons. Okay, I wanna create a lesson. Now here, see why it's important to figure out what your modules are. It's gonna say, well, do you wanna put that lesson in module one, or do you wanna put it in lesson two? So I wanna, I mean in module two, I wanna go ahead and put this one in module one. So, uh, Testing how introduction works. I'm just putting whatever for right now, okay? Introduction works. And then is it going to be a YouTube video, a Vimeo video? Are you gonna upload a video from your computer? Are you gonna have an Amazon S3 link? You can put an HTML page, HTML code, PDF document, image, slide share, and SoundCloud. So all this is going to be your options for uh, adding your content, okay? So I will just go ahead and uh, click on YouTube and then right here I would put the link for my YouTube video. So let me go ahead and find a YouTube video really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and put the URL here and you can select what kind of level is it? Is it simple, middle, difficult? Okay, you can select the uh, difficulty of whatever you're teaching them. You can, if you know how long the video is, you can put it right there if you'd want. Now you can require that the user must watch the entire video before going to the next step, okay? So you can put that here and you can put disable comments over here or you can enable comments, however you wanna do. Okay, and then here you can put a description so description for course, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right. And then you can add another lesson and you can keep adding more lessons. Create another lesson. 
etc. Choose it for module two. Testing module two lesson. Let's just go ahead and use the same one just so that we have something here. And uh, testing coursework options. All right. So now, if you want to create a test, you can add a question at the end of the test. I like to test my students. I like to recap what they've learned. So sometimes I do this. So you can put a test at the end of module one, a test at the end of module two, or a final test after they've done the entire course. You can create a test, okay? You can put multiple choice, true, false, short answer, okay? And you can go ahead and, and build your test from here, okay? I like that function, it's very, very cool. Uh, and my, let, let's remember, we're paying $50 a month, guys, okay? We're paying $50 a month for this. And then users, it'll show you as your uh, students register for the coursework, it'll show them uh, up here in your uh, users database, that way you know how many students you have registered. And you could also compile a frequently asked questions about your course, and that way you have it in the frequently asked questions page. Uh, so any questions about, you know, let's, let's say you're charging for the course. So you can put your return policy there or how to access customer service, et cetera, et cetera. Those are some questions that you can create for the year FAQ section. Now here is the fun part. Here is the theme. And this is where you're going to customize your coursework, okay, or your members site, okay. I'm going to choose this layout. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, customize this one and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of pick my branding colors so oh, somewhere around here I'm just uh, going by the top of my head okay uh, and then the background color we'll just go ahead and put this okay the idea is that you know you can with with very little customization with very little tech you can go ahead and create a um, you know a learning center for your students over here okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this like that and this is fine I'm just gonna change this to that I have no real idea what it's gonna look like yet but let's just go ahead and save and preview that looks a lot better I, I personally like this layout a lot better okay so I would go ahead and uh, upload a banner so let me show you how to do that Right here, you would choose a banner. All right, and uh, let's see. I'll go in here, and uh, I'll pick that. Okay. And then save and preview. Oh, it's a little too big. My sizing is off, but you get the picture. Let me go back and fix it, because that was driving me crazy. So make sure that the header image is what they asked you, because they do it so that it will uh, get bigger or smaller for whatever it is that you're doing. So, okay, so let me go ahead and choose another one. Let me go ahead and use this one. And I'll just go ahead and click Save. And yeah, again, just make sure that your banner is the, you know, the size that it recommends there, okay? It shows me here that I'm logged in. Right, that Barbie test, that's my account number that I'm logged in with. Here it'll have your logout. Uh, here if I want the results for my test, I can see my results for my test. And I can even get a PDF certificate. Oh, okay, that's not ready yet. But that's cute, they're gonna add a PDF certificate. That way you get a certificate. That's awesome. Okay, so then I can go here to my content, which is right here. All right, and I can access it from here. Okay, and you can add comments, etc. And the frequently asked questions is here. I like this one because it carries on the branding throughout the whole thing, but I'm a branding girl, so yeah, I personally, I like that much better. So yeah, so that's it, guys. Now, I am coming up with a tiny little mini course that is going to show you exactly how to create the membership site, how to brand it, um, and how to uh, get a couple of my branding templates uh, and my color templates. Uh, so make sure to uh, check that out. It took me a little bit longer to put together than I was hoping, So, but I will be releasing something like that in just a few days, and uh, I will make sure that uh, I let you guys know so that if you want kind of like a more done-for-you style membership uh, template, 
uh, with the color branding and all that stuff that you guys can just kind of plug in play uh, I'm gonna have that uh, available very shortly so I will let you guys know as soon as it's ready so that's it guys I hope that this series helped you find different options that you have available for you to create a membership site personally if you're just getting started and you need something just very very simple I'm talking about you're selling courses you know under two hundred dollars this is a great solution for you to start with uh, get some practice under your belt um, and then you know if you're gonna sell you know like a fifteen hundred dollar course or a two thousand dollar course maybe you want to look at other options like Kajabi or something just because they have more sophisticated uh, options uh, but Builder All has a great starting point for you to st you know get some experience under your belt start selling some courses or provide an area for your team to uh, get some training so anyway Guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If this video series helped you, please go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, as always, please make sure that you visit my website at www.risemarketinganddesign.com. And also remember to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my next upload. So until then, thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly, truly appreciate you. This has been Barbie Figueroa with risemarketinganddesign.com, and I'll see you on another video. Bye!